Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As I'm sure you figured out, this is part two of my plus size closet clean out videos for my blue jeans. So part one will be linked down below if you've already missed that. You're not going to miss anything if you watch these out of order. You can totally watch this one first if you want to. As I've mentioned in my last video, um, everything that I'm showing you guys will be listed on Poshmark if there's anything that you're interested in, at least the items I'm getting rid of will be listed on Poshmark. Um, so if there's anything you're interested in that I decide I'm not going to keep, uh, go check out my Poshmark. It will be linked down below. Yurtle will also be linked down below. I know I have a pair or two, a pair or two that will be getting listed on Yurtle. Um, and definitely let me let me know if you guys like this video by giving it a big thumbs up or subscribing or letting me know in the comments down below. I've got tons more clothes I need to go through and decide if I want to keep or get rid of. And if you want, I can definitely make a video of me cleaning out the rest of my closet. So be sure to let me know. Um, otherwise, let's go ahead and finish up the rest of this video. Next pair here are a pair of shorts. They are the Decree shorts. They say stretch on the inside, which they are quite stretchy. And they are a size 19. Again, got these from JCPenney's. I think they're really cute, but my goodness, they are short. Girl, like what was I thinking back then? Holy cow. I remember getting these and I was like 19 or 20 when I got them. Um, yeah, short shorts and tight clothes were my thing. And I was definitely considerably, considerably smaller so I could wear these. Not that I can wear these now, but they just, I don't think they're gonna fit me right. Um, now, that I have, now that I have a mom body, like, I just don't think they're going to look appropriate on me. But that is what they look like. Get them all in one frame because they are so short, but they are really cute. Um, okay, so these definitely don't fit. They are, for one, way too short. Like, holy cow. That's like, if I was still in school, I would get, like, sent home. Um, and then as you can see here... They can't be buttoned. Um, hello, red panties. Um, <laughs> they're the devil's panties. Comment down below if you know what movie that's from. Um, the back of them I think looks so cute if we can ignore the pimples I've had on my legs. I don't know what's going on. Like my face is so clear, no acne, and my legs are breaking out. Um, but I guess if you're gonna get pimples, I guess my legs is the place to get them, so I don't have to, I just put it on a pair of pants and they're covered. But from the back, I think these are so cute. Like, do y'all remember, and this is going to be aging me a little bit, granted I was in like elementary school, but I think it was like J-Lo, like it was a thing to run around, or maybe it was Britney Spears, turn around with your pants unbuttoned like that, like if we could bring that style back, I could keep these shorts. Um, so cute in the butt, but they don't fit, can't button them, so... These will be on Poshmark, and it sounds like Levi needs a little attention, so I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, this pair here is another pair of shorts that used to be jeans. What was that? I don't know. But they are from the A&A brand from JCPenney's. Do you get the feeling I shop at JCPenney's a lot? They have good jeans. I really like them. They're expensive, but they have good jeans. Um, they're a size 2X, so about a size um, 20, 22, I would assume. They were technically jeggings, but these are like the most jean-like jeggings I have ever had. And I wish I would have bought like all that they had in stock of these because I loved them so much. And I have yet to find another pair of jeggings like this ever. I have looked and looked and looked and have not found another pair. But <clears throat> this is what they look like. Um, again, used to be a pair of jeans, but they got chub rub, so I turned them into shorts. I've had them now for probably five years, I would think. I had them for like two or three years as jeans. Um, they held up, for being jeggings, they held up really well as jeans. I've had them, like I said, I probably had them a good two or three years as jeans before they got a hole in them. Um, and I've had them probably two or three years as shorts now. But that's what they look like. And here's, here's the back of them. I like the pockets. I think they're really cute. Um, again, they're technically jeggings, but like I said, these looked more like jeans than any jeggings I have ever had. Excuse me. I keep having coughing fits. I'm going to be editing, editing, I'm going to be editing all of my coughing fits out, but I'm definitely due for some more Mucinex, Mucinex, ugh. I'm getting all like congested feeling. Um, but I'm pretty sure those shorts will fit me. 
I hope they will. I love them. They were like my favorite shorts before I got pregnant. I like lived in those shorts. Okay, so I'm so excited that these fit because they were like seriously my favorite shorts for the past couple of years. Uh, right after I had Levi and we got home from the hospital, I remember trying them on and they did not fit and it killed me. I was like, oh no. I was so sad because I love these shorts. Um, so it looks like one of the stitch is starting to be noticeable right here. But two months later and they fit. I love the way they make my butt look. Um, I just think they're really cute all the way around. I really like them. They fit me well right through here. Um, not as loosely as they used to fit me, but you know, I'm only two months postpartum, so hopefully um, I'll continue to lose the baby weight and tone things up. But yeah, I'm really excited these fit. So yay, I've got some shorts I get to keep. Oh, and this pair of jeans is another pair I got from Garage Sale. They're size 22 and the brand is Unique. Not really sure who carried these brand, this brand or where they came from, but they are a, I guess they're supposed to be like a skinny leg jean, but I would say they're, they're pushing it on being a boot cut, honestly, but they're still really cute. Uh, no idea if they fit. Haven't tried them on since I bought them. When I bought them, they were quite large on me. Um, this is what they look like all the way down and this is what they look like here on the back and I love the little rips in the pocket I think they're really cute I love any kind of distressed jean like if I could figure out how to distress jeans myself all of my jeans would be distressed <laughs> to my mom's whore she hates distressed jeans but that is what they look like here on the back let's see if they fit well technically they fit um that's what they look like from the back so not half bad, but they are definitely a little more high-waisted than I'm used to. They go well above my belly button here. And that means that when I sit down, it's going to be hello muffin top because everything's going to get shoved up here and bulge over. And I just don't like the way that it looks. So, you know, I just, I don't know about these. Um, I'm seriously thinking these will probably be heading to Poshmark because I don't like the way they fit. Um, around my waist, but that's what they look like down by the ankles a little bit longer me they definitely go past my ankles uh, But they're boot cut which is nice for winter time and for putting in your boots so your Ankles of your jeans don't get all soft and wet But I'm thinking these ones I'm gonna pass along We'll have to see how long this video ends up being but it may end up being a two-part video because I still have eight more pairs of jeans to get through so We'll see how this all turns out. Side note, you guys can't tell, but I'm not wearing any pants. So, beauty of YouTube, you can't see me from the waist down. Uh, anyways, next pair here is from the ANA brand from JCPenney's. They're size 18W. They are skinny ankle jeans. Uh, again, not quite as tight to the ankles as I would prefer personally. Uh, but they're cute. They're just like that one pair I showed you that were the light wash, just the dark wash in them that, uh, I got when I was working as a dog groomer. These ones are a little more snug on me, um, or at least they were more snug on me, I should say, back when I was wearing them on a regular basis. But they were definitely like a pair of mom jeans, so as much as I really liked those ones on me now, I can only imagine how well I'm gonna like these ones on me now. But this is what they look like. They're just a basic pair of jeans with a decent amount of stretch to them. Uh, here's what they look like going all the way down the leg. And then this is what they look like from the back. And since those other ones fit me, I imagine these will fit me um, pretty well. I don't remember what the size was on those. Were they, were they at 20? I don't remember. These ones are an 18W. But I imagine they're going to fit me pretty much exactly the same. Um, and I'll probably keep them. Okay, so these definitely fit me like that other pair. I feel like they might be a little bit more snug, but um, if I remember right, those other ones definitely loosened up on me throughout the day, so these ones will likely do the same as well. Granted, now that I have a mom body, I feel like they just hug my curves better and just look better on me all the way around, so we'll see how they wear throughout the day, but um, this is definitely what they look like on. Uh, here's the back. I think they make my butt to look so good. Definitely loving that. Um, a, a little snug here at the waistband, but not nothing horrible. Again, I think that they're going to loosen up really well while I wear them throughout the day. 
and they'll look great this fall and winter when I wear like hoodies and stuff. Nobody's gonna see this part right here. And I like how snug they are down around the ankles. Um, definitely perfect for wearing with boots this winter. And I like the way they make my legs just look nice and curvy. I just like that. So I will definitely be keeping these jeans. They're making me feel good, make me feel sassy. Um, yes. These are going in the keep pile. This pair here is technically a pair of jeggings. I have like three or four of them, and for whatever reason, they've got like cat hair on them. Apparently Oliver laid on them. Or maybe last time I wore these, I shaved the cat. Um, I swear his hair just gets stuck in things, and so even when they go through the wash, it's like sometimes they'll still come out with cat hair on them. But they're a size 2XL. Uh, not sure on the brand, but I did get these at Walmart. Pretty sure they still sell them. But they're a pair of jeggings, and... I, you can see the cat hair on over there. I lived in these um, the whole year prior to my pregnancy. Uh, I've got like three pairs of them because, as I mentioned, I was in between jean sizes and I just couldn't find any jeans to fit me. So, uh, though from like the top here, they definitely look like old grandma pants that are super stretchy um, with a sweater on or a shirt. They definitely look more like jeans. I assume these are going to fit me, uh, but I guess we'll find out. And here's what they look like all the way down. Um, and they're just a skinny leg here down at the ankles. And this is what the back looks like. My my only issue with these jeans, and I can link these down below if anybody's interested in buying these jeggings. Because they definitely still sell these at Walmart. And I actually did, I actually had these in a video for my favorite leggings. Because the same brand that makes my favorite leggings makes these jeggings. Um, so I can link that video down below if you guys want to check it out. But my biggest issue with these is how tiny the pockets are. Like, the, um, jeggings, jegging shorts, I think I already put them up. I, I don't know, I just feel like they can make them look more realistic. Uh, here's a pair of black jeggings we're going to talk about here in a minute. These are from Faded Glory, and they even have belt loops on them. They are made to look like jeans, even though they're super stretchy material. And I just feel like this brand could have put a little more effort in. Uh, the back, back pockets could have been bigger. They could have put a button on the waist or something. Um, there's so much they could have done to make these look more like actual jeans. But at the end of the day, they didn't. They are definitely cheap and affordable. I think they're like 11 bucks. They're comfortable on. Um, and they've got them in large sizes. These are like a 2X. And... I don't know. I mean, how much can you say about a pair of $11 jeggings? But we'll see if they see if these guys still fit me. I imagine that they do. And I will link them down below if you're interested in buying them. Okay. And these definitely fit me. I feel like they look a lot more rounded right here than they used to. But again, that's just part of how my body looks now. And I just have to learn how to embrace it and... Get over it, essentially. Um, it could change in time, as I keep saying, as I work out and lose more baby weight. I can just stop pop apart on that. But I think they look pretty good on. Um, here's what they look like in the back. I could definitely use some more pocket space back here. I just feel like these pockets are so dang small. But with my shirt on, um, I think my butt looks pretty good in them. They are definitely very tight down around the ankles, which I like and am definitely okay with. Uh, yeah, I think I will definitely keep these. You can find a way to get rid of all the cat hair, but um, you yeah, know, whatever. <laughs> Can't see with the shirt on, I guess. Hopefully if they go through the wash again, it'll like, take, take care of the cat hair that's stuck in them. But these are definitely going in the keep pile along with the two other pairs of these that I own. What was that? So since we have these out and we were talking about them, um, these are my black jeggings from Faded Glory. Again, this is a Walmart brand. They're a size 2X, which is an 18W to a 20W. Uh, and they're also a skinny leg. Um, I never really wore these very much. Black jeans just aren't really my thing, I guess. But I've got them anyways. We'll see how they fit and if I'll keep them or not. But that's what they look like all the way down here at the bottom. And here's what they look like here at the back. You would think I would live in these because I love black leggings and I wear black leggings all the time. I wear black shirts all the time. I wear black shirts with my black leggings but black jeans? Nope, never wear them. But <laughs> I haven't worn these in like two years so 
maybe I'll put them on, maybe they'll fit me and look good, and maybe I'll start wearing them again. So, the black jeggings definitely fit me. Uh, I think they would really look cute with a pair of black flats, but I think that I'm going to get rid of these and put these on Poshmark because as nice as they look now, um, well for one, I'm not a fan of how they sit up here. I feel like they just don't hug my body right. Um, they're a little snug going on, a little snug in the butt. Uh, once they're on, they fit okay, and they definitely look good in the legs. But I didn't wear these at all pre-pregnancy, and I can't see me wearing these postpartum. So I'm just going to go ahead and put these on Poshmark. This next pair here is a pair of khakis from Falls Creek. They are a size 18 average, and I picked these up when I was applying to work for a daycare center. This was a couple of years ago. I don't know if you guys would remember me talking about that. I like lived in the trailer, and like I had to do a two or three day aud audition, um, which they ended up offering me the job, but the pay wasn't worth it for the hour drive. Anyways, I picked these up for those three days, and then never wore them again. Uh, they're cute, but khakis aren't really my thing, so I'll probably end up putting these on Poshmark whether they fit me or not. But here's what they look like here at the front. They just have a super stretchy waistband. They almost look like maternity pants, but they're not. Um, they're really wrinkled from being in my drawer for a couple of years. But they're just kind of like a boot cut here at the bottom. And then that is what they look like here on the back side. So this is another pair that will probably be getting listed on Poshmark. Um, here's what they look like all the way down. They fit, technically. Um, part of me says I should keep them in case I ever get a job or I need to wear khakis. Uh, but that's what they look like in the back. They make my butt look good. But they're a bit snug all right through here. And I'm not liking, I'm just not liking all that. And I only got them for that daycare job, which I didn't in the beginning. And they've sat in a drawer ever since then. So, um, being realistic, if I go back to work, it'll be the job where I need black pants. So, I, I just can't foresee me ever needing to actually wear these on a regular basis. So, I'm going to go ahead and put them on Poshmark because, like I said, I've wore them. I wore them for those three days of that tryout for that job and never wore them again. So... There's really no point in me hanging on to pants that I'm not going to use. I have like 14 minutes left on my camera. I'm going to have to charge it again. This will be the second time it's died during the making of this video. It's seriously taking me all day. It's like 3 o'clock and it's now, no, it's now 3 o'clock and I think I started filming at like 10 this morning. So <laughs> it's taking a while, but with a baby to take care of, camera keeps dying. Takes a lot of time. Um, so we've got one, two, four more pairs. They look like five on my camera. <laughs> four more pairs of jeans to go through. Uh, excuse my dyslexia. Um, so this pair is another pair from Vanity. I remember I absolutely loved these. I lived in them, but my biggest problem with them was that they were so low low rise. But they always fell off my butt, even if I had a belt on. So, I can't imagine they're going to fit me any better now postpartum. They are, as I said, from Vanity. They're the Vanity style. They're a 34 waist and 31 length. 98% um, cotton, 2% spandex. They're very stretchy, which is my problem. They fit me really good. Like, when I first put them on, they fit great. But during the day, they would get looser. And as I got looser, they fell off my butt more and more. And I could just never bring myself to part with them because I loved them so much. But honestly, they they were only good for like the first couple of hours of wear. And then I was just struggling all day trying to keep my pants on. So even if they fit me, I should honestly probably let them go because like I, I haven't worn them in forever just because the struggle is real in them to keep them on my butt. But this is what they look like. They're super cute. Coming all the way down here, they have a little bit of distress there at the knee, and on this leg, they have a little bit there at the thigh. Um, they are a boot cut jean. The other issue I had with these I didn't like was that the bottom hem down here always rolled up, and I hated that. I'd always try to roll them down, but they would always roll back up. Um, I guess if I wanted to iron them, 
and they wouldn't do that but you know who has time for an iron uh, here's what the back looks like I think they have really cute pockets on the back um, no distressing on the back of the jean anywhere but yeah that's what they look like I think they're really cute um, I don't know we'll have to see if I can force myself to let them go so these fit me they fit me about the same as they did before I got pregnant um, they look good in the back my butt look good <laughs> you can't tell that's important to me um, but they are quite low rise which now I'm just I'm not sure how I feel about low rise jeans um, they fit pretty well now but I know that as the day would go on if I continued to wear them that I would start having problems keeping them up um, I'm also having an issue with them down at the bottom with them trying to roll as I mentioned earlier, having that issue. But I'm undecided. I really like these jeans. When I first put them on, I always like the way they look. So I think these are going to have to go into the maybe pile. This isn't technically a pair of jeans, um, but they kind of look like jeans. I guess you might call them a jegging or a legging. I'm not really sure. I think they're a legging trying to be a jegging. Uh, these came from, I think, the Family Dollar. They're from Mix and Company. They're a size 2X. Um, I've got buttons and zippers, but they're super stretchy. They're like all cotton. Let's see what they're made out of. 57% cotton, 38% polyester, and 5% spandex. So, I mean, they're they're like a, 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 a they are like a legging material, but they've got all the bells and whistles of a pair of jeans or a pair of jeggings. So they are a skinny, skinny leg all the way down here. Um, this is what the back looks like with the pockets. Note they do have belt loops. Um, tiny little pockets though. And last time I tried these on, um, I think they were too tight on me to be honest. Uh, I don't even remember buying these really, but I found them in my drawer about a year ago. I remember trying them on and they just, they were too tight. So I imagine they're not gonna fit me any better now, but I guess we'll find out. So these ones seem to sit, fit me really nicely. I never cared for them before because of how high-waisted they were, but now that I'm postpartum, I kind of like my jeans a little more high-waisted. And as you can see, um, they go up quite high. As I mentioned earlier, or I should say I prefer more of a mid-rise jean now. Uh, as I mentioned earlier in a different pair of jeans, I didn't like them going up this high because when I sit, they cause a muffin top. But these are so, so stretchy on me that I don't think I would have that issue. That being said, I don't like the way they hug my midsection right here. But with my shirt down, you can't tell that it hugs that tightly. So, these may end up in the, in the maybe pile as well. Because I was pretty sure I would just get rid of them. But, and I like the way my, they make my butt look um, really good. I like the way they hug my legs. I'm not a fan of the mid midsection, but um, they're very comfortable on. I don't know. I might keep these <laughs> really undecided. But I think they might be nice for winter. And I know I made a whole comment about not liking black jeans but I don't know I just might have to keep these because honestly now that they're on they look like leggings and they feel a lot like leggings but they're a thicker material which would be really good this winter just because they'd be warmer and I like they have the back pockets which is nice for like putting a cell phone in so I may end up keeping these okay guys last pair of jeans these are from Jordache. They're a boot cut and they are a size 18. I remember when I bought these, I loved them because they made my butt look so good. Um, anyways, this is what they look like. There's a light wash denim. They are boot cuts here at the bottom. I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> anyways, <coughs> that's what the back looks like. And that is what they look like all the way down and here at the bottom is the boot cut so these fit me really good before I got pregnant um, well actually I think they started getting a little bit snug on me right before I got pregnant before I met my husband I was in excellent shape which is when I bought these and then we met and we got fat and happy together so you know that's just kind of how it works when you end up in a happy relationship and you just want to like eat good food and sit on the couch and Netflix and chill all the time so that's what that is but we'll see if these fit and then we'll wrap this video up Unfortunately, these ones no longer fit me. I could probably force it. Um, honestly, I could probably make them button, but they're gonna cause a muffin top 
which sucks because they always made my butt look good. I always really liked them. They're really cute, but they don't fit anymore. So it's time to let them go. So these will definitely be getting listed on Poshmark. Okay, guys, so that wrap, wraps things up for this video. I think I ended up with like eight pairs of keep jeans. I know there was one pair of jeans that I didn't show you guys because I already knew they fit me and they were in the wash. They were dirty, so um, they were kind of stretched out from being worn all day, so they weren't going to look right anyways. They were kind of baggy by the end of the day. So there's one pair of jeans that I have you guys haven't seen, but otherwise, now you guys know all the jeans that I have. And I think it came down to being eight pairs that I'm keeping. And I believe there's eight pairs here that I'm getting rid of. So go ahead and keep an eye on those for Poshmark and Yurtle. There's a few that will go on Yurtle. Um, and I will leave a link to my video for how you can make a pair of jeans or jean shorts out of your jeans if you're interested in checking that out. I'll also leave links to the jeggings down below that I mentioned that you can still buy in store. Um, I do have about, was it... Four pairs of jeans that I'm undecided on they're in my like maybe pile so I guess I'm gonna keep them for now and see if I use them and if I don't then I will be listing them um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up so I know to make more of these because I need to go through all of my shirts fall is coming and I have a bunch of like fall and winter type shirts I need to go through and decide if I want to keep or not. I also have my whole spring and summer wardrobe that I need to go through as well. So if you guys are interested, I can make more videos like this. Just let me know either in comments below or by liking this video. Also, if you haven't but you would like, please subscribe to my channel. Um, I make all different kinds of videos, so I'm just like a variety show, I guess. <laughs> but I hope you guys have enjoyed this video for today, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.